So it's not over. It's not over. Where is Kate is still trending. So this is just two hours ago. And um, it's in Washington, D.C. So it's like huge in America. And Americans really do love this kind of, um, of a story, I think, where, you know, because so many women disappear in, and in America. Joins us now live. Good morning, Charles. Good morning. How are you guys doing? So wait a minute. So this guy works for TMZ. Remember, TMZ is the one who um, got the picture from the sun. <clears throat> wait a minute. Yeah, and I believe it's her, Charles. What do you, you believe? believe? It's her. Yeah, I do. Uh, I have gone back and forth uh, three different times. I've looked at this video so often. And um, yeah, I, I, my gut is, my gut was, it was her. But then I started looking at some of the comments and things that people are posting about why they don't think it's her. And they have some points about her height, about mm. her height compared to William, where... Wait a minute. I should say that this guy... Wait a minute. Stop. Ah! Ah, stop. Um, wait. Wait. We have to... Wait a minute. I want to get this back a little bit because this guy said exactly what I said. So he must have seen my video. He must have. Listen to this. About her height, about... Her height compared to William. Um, where, I was the first one uh, on that. Her eye line is. I was the first one. When she's looking at him normally, um, some things about her chin. There are I said a lot that. of different details right. that people have picked out, even in the way she, this woman walks. Exactly. Now I'm not. Before I was, I would say I was 95%. When I first saw it, I was like, oh, that's her. And it certainly looks like William. Um, but even the William, some people are picking apart that maybe it's not him. I, and what, what just happened? What did I do? Continue. It, 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 there is endless mystery behind this thing. And, and the bigger question is, if it's not her, then again, we're left with where is Kate? Exactly. Um, and what is where is Kate? Where is Kate? And girls and boys listening to me, this is very serious. I mean, I know that I laugh a lot about this and I carry on and da 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 da. But also inside I'm shaking because I don't get a good feeling because why would the palace continue to play with the public like this? Why would they continue to play games with us like this? This has long stopped being funny if it's, if it's a game. I mean, you know, there's that side of me that thinks, well, it's a game. It's a stunt. They're just they're messing with us. They want people to worry. They're playing to, to the conspiracies. They're trolling us. But it just seems so incredibly, um, I don't know what the word I would use. I mean, for someone or, or, or individuals to, to think that something like this is funny um, is so beyond the pale, really, that I just can't imagine that this is somebody's idea of a joke to set up the public to believe that Kate is missing, like create a scenario where it looks like Kate is missing, people are worried, and so let's really make them worry, and then let's play to it, and let's let's confuse them even more, and let's put out all these fake um, photos and fake videos and just really just, you know, go to town, and we don't care, I mean, I'm assuming that this is what the reasoning is in the palace, that international news agencies are now comparing us to North Korea and Iran and that we have lost our, our credibility. Let's keep this game going. I just find that just very, very hard to believe. You know, I don't see how anybody continues to do this. So therefore, if it's not a joke, there are two other possibilities. One is this really is Kate and William and everything is fine. And then the other, well, you know, I don't have the words. I really don't. It's good to know this. on with her. So, and why would the palace be involved if they are in another sort of hoax to make us think that Kate is okay? It's they, a hoax. There was the, the Mother's Day photo was mm -hmm. such a blunder. Why would they do it again? Oh, yeah, I don't Which know. Which is what made me think at first it was her because there's like, there's no way they do that again. They got caught the first time. They wouldn't do it again. I feel like but, every woman in London and in England are lining up to be a Kate Middleton stunt <laughs> double. Or, <laughs> like, model, everything. I mean, what do you think, Neil?
needs to happen at this point, Charles? I mean, do they need to hold a news conference? What's yeah. needed? I mean, it sounds ridiculous, but it's sort of like we need proof of life. I mean, that's what people have been saying for weeks is why doesn't Sussex Jesus squad. do, uh, you know, a, a video doesn't have to be alive, but, it, but if there were a video, like, at the palace of her saying, I'm okay, I'm in recovery, thank you for your concern, or, you know, I don't want to say holding up a newspaper so, so we know the date, but um, when yeah. I've heard people say that, that they just want... So we we need proof of okay. at this point it's gotten so far. I think, the, the point is the I, think I think I think it's gone so far that yeah we kind of do need to have all that. We need the newspaper. We need actual proof of the date. So proof of life, proof of date, proof of being able to walk, proof of um, everything okay with her face. Um, yeah, we we need that out and and so they need to put something you know, ask her a question about something that's happening today. Um, because, because it, it, you know, they pushed this to the point of no return, as far as I'm concerned with this last video, it's done. I'm done. I have to do that. They, uh, and I've heard this from a lot of over the years, uh, Royal watchers, Royal experts who say that, you know, the palace really feels they're above all of that hmm. and they don't have to bow to public pressure. They do something when they feel like it's necessary. And obviously, up to this point, they do not feel like it's necessary. I think a lot of people have also pointed out just how rail thin she looks in this video, which, uh, you know, we could uh, go into all of that as well. But we want to get into our next topic, which is Richard Simmons. Yeah. Uh, he tweeted. OK, so, yeah. So this guy works for TMZ, you know, um, and. Uh, whew. I'm like literally shaking, you know, and I'm not even a fan of, of Kate Middleton's and, you know, the idea that people would say that, you know, I am bullying Kate for asking questions and asking for proof of life, you know, after they have given us all this proof that she's alive, starting with the Mother's Day photo, well, starting with the TMZ photo in the car with that moon-faced woman that they said was Kate. And if two days later, the Mother's Day photo with a face half the size of the moon-faced woman that turned out to be an amalgamation and a collage of different moving parts on different people. And then you have, you know, this thing at the farm where she went to the farm and was there a fourth thing? I mean, you know, it, it's just so much at this point that, and then you listen to these journalists, especially those in the UK, except I have to say for Piers Morgan, which is very surprising. You know, Piers Morgan is the one person that you expect to be mouthing the BS more than anybody and he's the one who is mouthing it the least. He is not convinced at all. He's not saying it outright. Well, I, I think he has said that William is covering something up, actually, just a couple of days ago. And um, But this, this video that they showed of the farm, Piers is not buying it. And I find that very, very curious because he, of all of those journalists, I think, is way, way up the, you know, the, he's a brown noser, you know, and he's friends with some of these people in the royal family. And so I'm reading his body language and I'm reading everything he's saying. He's not buying it. And you know why I think he's not buying it? Because I think he actually does have information from his friends, like the daughters of Andrew, Andrew's daughters and pairs are very good friends. They were photographed coming out of a bar one time, hugging just in this. This was right after one of Andrew's daughters went to Montecito to visit Meghan and Harry. And I thought, oh, how sweet. She's nice. Da, 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 da. And not very long after that, she was photographed coming from a, out of a bar, hugging Piers Morgan while Piers Morgan was on his back foot, you know, just crucifying and persecuting without ceasing Megan and Harry. 
I thought that was the most backstabbing move I had ever seen in my life. And I have permanently lost respect for Prince Andrew's daughters, Beatrice and Eugenie as a consequence, right? But I digress. I think I digress. The bottom line is, I believe Piers knows something. If he doesn't know it, he suspects it strongly and he's not buying this. Other than him, all these other journalists in the UK press have been bought and they have been had and they have fallen for it. And if they haven't fallen for it, they're pretending to have fallen for it and they're spreading it like propaganda to gullible people in the UK and around the world who desperately want to believe that Kate is okay. I want to believe Kate is okay, but the proof they have provided so far for me does not cut the muster. So again, I have to end this video with my same question. Where is Kate? Where is Kate? 